going. Take another step, and I swear I will strike you down where you stand. I am Wynne, Mage of the Circle, and these children are under my protection. Who are you, and what is your purpose here? Have the Templars opened the door? Speak quickly, I'll have no games. You were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. Even trapped as we are, we have survived. They invoke the right, however. We will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a... feels as though my... When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the circle, as you can see. It didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me, to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kenan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say, let them have it. Huh. If that were so, why, I am sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, 
Look after the others. I will be back soon. Wynne, are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. When that happens, I usually lay about a young upstart with my staff. That gets the blood flowing and works the kinks out of these old joints. If you are ready, let us go end this. Yes. Yes. I must say, you seem very familiar to me. Did I not see you at Ostagarth? I saw you in the camp with Duncan and some other men. Grey Wardens. You are one of them, are you not? And you too are a Grey Warden. Are you not, young sir? Yes, ma'am, you are correct. And please call me Alistair. I am pleased to meet you, Alistair. I am sorry for what happened to your comrades. It was terrible to behold. Loghain turned his back on the King and the Wardens. He is a strategist, and must have known the Darkspawn would overcome them. All those lives lost. And Aldred was there. If I find out he knew Loghain was planning this, I'll... Well, I won't elaborate. Oh, yes. He will get what's coming to him eventually. If I have any say in the matter, we should get going. Unless you have something else to say. Aldred. It's uncharitable of me to speak this way, but I never liked him. He was a squirrely, twitchy sort of person. He never mentored the apprentices, never taught. He didn't seem to care much for the circle, only his own advancement. I'm sure Aldred has some redeeming qualities. He probably has a perfectly good reason for not displaying them. Oh, a long story. It all started when I returned from Ostagarth. I was at that ill-fated battle, and I survived barely. I was in no state to travel. So I stayed at Ostagar to recuperate and help the wounded. Aldred, on the other hand, left for the tower almost immediately. When I finally returned here, I found that Aldred had all but convinced the Circle to join Loghain, the man who nearly destroyed us all. I cannot fault the Circle, though. Aldred had a persuasive argument, and how could they have known what happened in Ostagar? The alliance with Loghain would have been to the Circle's advantage. According to Uldred, once Loghain was in power, he would order the Chantry to give us more freedom. Well, I told the First Enchanter Irving what Loghain did on the battlefield. I revealed him for the traitorous bastard he is. Irving said he would take care of it. He called a meeting to confront Uldred. But something must have gone wrong. I emerged from my quarters when I heard the screams. They were coming from the meeting room, and it wasn't long before I saw the first abomination running down a mage. It deteriorated quickly then. It must have, though I don't know for sure. The creatures came from that direction, as far as I could tell. Onward, then. Here we are. I'm 
somewhat amazed at myself for having kept it in place this long. It made me very weary at times, but I had to stay strong to keep us safe. Be prepared for anything. I do not know what manner of beasts lurk beyond this barrier. Are you ready? Be on your guard. these statues. Your mages have an unhealthy fascination for women with bowls. Please refrain from going into the stockroom. It is a mess and I've not been able to get it into a state fit to be seen. I am called Owain and I manage the circle's magical stockroom. I was trying to tidy up but there was little I could do. The stockroom is my responsibility. I must keep it clean. I tried to leave when things got quiet. That was when I encountered the barrier. Finding no other way out, I returned to work. 
Oh, Wien, you should have said something. I would have opened the door for you. The stockroom is familiar. I prefer to be here. No. I suppose I should count myself lucky. I would prefer not to die. I would prefer it if the tower returned to the way it was. Perhaps Nial will succeed and save us all. I do not know. But he came here with several others and took the litany of Adrala. But that protects from mind domination. Is blood magic at work here? I do not know. Niall was in the meeting. He would know. Blood magic. I was afraid of this. Blood magic could control us, too. Who knows what could happen then? We should find Niall. The litany will give us a fighting chance against any blood mages we encounter. I wish you luck. Perhaps this will be over soon and things will return to the way they were. Goodbye. I know I have no right to ask for mercy, but I didn't mean for this death and destruction. We were just trying to free ourselves. Aldred told us that the Circo would support Loghain, and Loghain would help us be free of the Chantry. You don't know what it was like. The Templars were watching. Always watching. We thought... Someone always has to take the first step, force the change, no matter the cost. Nothing is worth what you've done to this place. And now Aldred's gone mad, and we are scattered, doomed to die at the hands of those who seek to right our wrongs. What else can I do? I'm trapped here. Thank you. The Maker will surely turn his eyes on you for your mercy.